Pizza toppings are stuffed into a piece of pizza dough in a skull mold and baked to get this delicious stuffed skull pizza. Welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. I'm going to be celebrating my most favorite festival, which is the Mexican Day of the Dead. This festival is very special to me because it honors the people that have passed on and it invites them back for one day. The Day of the Dead is typically celebrated on November 2nd, which is also my birthday, and it's called All Souls Day. To celebrate this, I'm going to be making stuffed pizza skulls. These not only look fantastic, they taste absolutely delicious. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. In a bowl, I'm going to add seven grams of active yeast. And to feed this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of sugar. I'm also going to add half a cup of warm water, and I'm going to cover this just so the water stays warm longer and I'm going to leave it alone for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes you can see that this is nice and frothy. I'm going to give it a stir and leave it aside. In my stand mixer I have 2 cups of all-purpose flour and I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of salt. I'm also going to add all of the yeast mixture and I'm going to start to knead it. I'm going to add another half cup of water in the same bowl that I had the yeast in and I'm going to add this in a little bit at a time. This is going to form a dough. I also like to add one tablespoon of olive oil. Using a stand mixer takes care of all the kneading. If you're using your hands to knead this, do knead the dough for at least 10 minutes. Now I'm going to put some cling film on this and I'm going to leave it in a warm place so it can rise for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, it's already pretty much doubled. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to add more flour and knead it. When you make the dough at home, you can literally feel the air. When making a traditional pizza, you don't really use a rolling pin, but I'm going to use one to make sure that this gets evenly rolled out. I have a skull pan here. You can find this on Amazon. I will leave that link to my Amazon store in the description. You can totally use store-bought pizza dough, but I like to make fresh pizza dough since it's so easy. Divide the dough and I'm going to work on these one by one. I'm going to add the dough to the skull cavity. I'm going to add cheese at the bottom. I'm using a mozzarella cheddar mix and this is roughly a quarter cup. I'm going to add some pepperoni. I'm using beef pepperoni, but you can use regular pepperoni, chicken or whatever you like. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of pizza sauce. I like to add the pizza sauce in the middle as it has less chances of leaking out. I'm going to top this with some mushrooms and then I'm going to add another quarter cup of cheese. I'm now going to fold this in and seal it. I'm going to finish doing the rest of the pizza skulls And then this is going to be baked in my 350 degree oven. I like to bake this for at least half an hour. Make sure this is completely cooled before you turn it out. These pizza skulls are amazing. When you break them apart, they're full of all the pizza goodness. This is going to be a huge crowd pleaser. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, also known as the Day of the Dead. These pizza skulls are absolutely delicious. They're great for kids and adults alike. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. Let me know what other videos you would like to see. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you've rung the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. 
and be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy Halloween. Bye.